Hello and welcome. Today we are going to replace LCD back cover on Acer Swift 3. This laptop actually came as a broken hinge issue, which we can see on the right side where the LCD bezel is detached. And this is one of the most common problems uh, with laptops. And usually the hinges itself, they are not broken, but the base that hold the hinge uh, to the screen side, to the LCD uh, back cover, is where the damage is. So actually hinges are good, but we need to replace the LCD back cover. First to remove the screws. And then we need to remove the bottom cover. Okay, this is a good spot. First thing to do is to detach battery. And after the battery, we need to unscrew the screws holding the hinges and then to remove display cable and to disconnect the Wi-Fi cables as well. We can see that hinge that it is moving, that's because the other side is completely broken off. Okay, gently lift up uh, the bottom part of the laptop. And now it's time to remove the, the screen bezel. On this model it's easy, you need to find one spot where just to start it off and then gently by hand, bit by bit, clip by clip, take it off. Be careful that part near the screen, usually it has double-sided tape on it. We can see now the double-sided tape. Yeah. As we can see, this is where the damage is and this, the hinge can move, so it's not broken, but that bit that was holding it onto the LCD cover is broken. Here are the milers. On all the newer laptops, especially with a very thin and sleek design, uh, the LCD screen is held by double-sided rubber milers and they can be very difficult to remove, but we will see how is the best way to do it. Okay, we need to take off the screws from the broken part, so we can use them on our new LCD cover, LCD back cover. So always find the starting point for the rubber milers. Sometimes they're on top, uh, on this model they are on the bottom. And as you can see, it's very difficult. And also uh, on many occasions they can just break. So you really have to be careful with them. I will use now a plastic tweezer because I think it's more handy for me to get the, to start with it. Okay, finally. Okay, this is good. Fortunately, the milers on this uh, laptop, uh, they were quite flexible and relatively easy to work with. Then I will use the metal tweezer and you need to wind up uh, the miler around the metal tweezer gently, bit by bit, pulling occasionally so that you stretch it a little bit and take a bit more under the, the LCD screen. Once you are comfortable, you can move to the uh, middle uh, position of the LCD screen and then, yeah, like this. And then 
at the end at the top and that would be it from that side it, it would mean that the mylar is completely removed okay that's it from the right side of the LCD screen now to remove the mylar the best thing is to use a box cutter and bit by bit we need to cut and remove the mylar from the tweezers That's it. Now we need to do the same with the, the left side miler. Okay, we got the starting point. Metal tweezers again and gently pulling up and winding onto the metal tweezers. Unfortunately, sometimes these milers can break and then basically you're in, in world of trouble because then probably we need to use a heat gun to heat up a bit the, the LCD cover and that can be dangerous from, for many different reasons. So if miler stays in one piece and you are gentle with it, there are good chances that you can pull it through and this is the base, best way to remove the LCD screen on these models. Okay, the screen is now finally free. There is just one cable holding it and that's the one that is attached to the web camera. Released. We can see the display connector and we can see how long this web camera cable is and that it is uh, glued to the back of the screen. Okay, next thing is to remove web camera. Okay, so I will remove first this piece of fabric that holds the camera. You have to be careful as these webcams are very, very thin and very gentle not to break it. So this was the easiest and most uh, safest way. The next thing is to remove the uh, Wi-Fi antennas. And this is practically a very thin uh, piece of, of copper tape glued onto the LCD back cover. And now it's time to start assembling with our new LCD back cover. So this is how you want it, with uh, milers already pre-installed on the LCD back cover. We see also the, the fabric that was holding the webcam. This is when you get the part direct from the Acer supplier. we can remove the old fabric that was behind the webcam. There is also very, very thin, very small double-sided tape that we need to use for our webcam now. There are two plastic guide pins align it with it and you will get the right position for the webcam. To put back the antennas, there's a small plate and the mentioned copper tape. They need to go back in place and 
use something to make them as smooth as possible. We need to partially put the cables back in place, but once the hinges are uh, screwed back onto the LCD cover, this is when we are going to arrange the cables as they should go. Leaving the cable there just for now. Once we put the screen back, I will sort the cables the way they should be. Okay, first thing is to connect the web camera. The connector looks a little bit flimsy, doesn't make any kind of click, but should be good like this. Next thing is to remove the plastic tape from the double-sided milers. And now to align the LCD screen properly. Time to assort the uh, display cable and Wi-Fi cables. Web camera cable as well. Use a cloth and gently put some pressure on the screen so that it would uh, glue better to the milers. Putting back the, the other hinge as well. And now to put back the LCD bezel. Cables should go on the upper side of the hinges. Gently follow through all the clips. Put some pressure here. There are some clips as well, the double sided tape holding that Acer logo part to the screen. Okay. 
So again, cables on the top side of the hinges and they should be free. So always try to wiggle them a little bit so they're not pinched anywhere. Okay, time to put back the bottom part of the laptop and to assemble everything again. Gently slide it under the hinges. Align and push down the hinges, screw them in. This is the first step. And then we need to connect everything again as it was. Display cable, Wi-Fi connectors, and the battery. Always be patient with reconnecting the Wi-Fi card cables as on the new models uh, the connectors are really really tiny and usually you need to some some time to to get it right to connect them. If you can't do it while the Wi-Fi card is in the slot, take it out, it's for me at least always easier, and connect them like this. Now to clean a bit CPU fan. Done. Let's reconnect the battery and close the laptop. Let's power on the laptop. We can see now the Acer logo. And that would be it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.